Since we've been talking about maintenance mode and our vSAN object state health, I wanted to talk about a new feature called enhanced data durability. And for this video, we'll have two different sections. The first part of it will be in slides, talking about what actually it is and how it functions. And the second part, we'll jump into vCenter so you can see what it looks like from a GUI perspective. Let's walk through a scenario with a version that's prior to 7.0 U1. Let's say we've got a four node cluster and our administrator wants to put one of those hosts in maintenance mode. So they right click and do ensure accessibility. With ensure accessibility, we take away the resource, assuming we can, and then start a 60 minute timer. That 60 minute timer says, if this host doesn't come back, we'll kick off a resync and heal our objects in the environment. Luckily we've got a four node cluster, so we can do that. But let's say at the 37 minute mark, one of our other hosts has some kind of failure. That could be a controller failure, that could be a drive failure. At that point, we've suffered a double fault. We've suffered more failures than we've designed vSAN to tolerate. vSAN can tolerate anywhere from one failure all the way up to three failures. We specified we want to tolerate a single failure in the environment. In this case, by putting a host in maintenance mode, we've already cashed in that get out of jail free card. Let's say we complete our maintenance on host four. As a result, we bring that host out of maintenance mode to get us above that 50% watermark. But the challenge though, is it's missing all the rights that's happened since we put that host in maintenance mode. And that's where our enhanced data durability comes into play, which I'll probably just call data durability at this point. Let's walk through that scenario again, but let's say we've got a 7.0 U2 environment. And so taking a step back, in 7.0 U1, we initially introduced this feature for planned maintenances. And a planned maintenance would be putting a host in maintenance mode. For U2, we allowed for unplanned maintenances, which would be an outage, whether that's a control that failed or a disk that failed or some kind of unexpected situation happening. So let's say we've got a 7.0 U2 environment. Our administrator comes along, puts our host in maintenance mode with ensure accessibility. But this time things change slightly because we've got a new component type. We've got a data component. We've got our witness component, assuming this is a RAID 1 FTT of 1 policy, or just saying it's a RAID 1 policy. And then we have something called durability component. And a durability component would be placed on another node in the environment. So in this situation, we've got a four node cluster. We've got component one and component two and our witness. So in that fourth node, we replace or place our durability component. And for all new writes, they would go to component two because that's still accessible, that's still in a healthy state, and those writes would go to our durability component. And so once we're finished with the maintenance, we can bring host four out of maintenance mode, and then we perform a resync from our durability component over to component one. And this is just the writes that it missed. So it said, okay, for the last 37 minutes or last however long you've been in maintenance mode, this is the writes you've missed. Let's go ahead and catch you up. So let's walk through a failure scenario next. We've got our host for maintenance mode with ensure accessibility. That 60 minute timer hasn't elapsed. And we've got those writes going to our durability component and our component two. But then something happens to that host where component two lives, whether it's a control failure or a disk failure or something else. And now we're in a state where we've got a double fault because one of our hosts is in maintenance mode and one of our hosts has failed. At that point, we can take our host four out of maintenance mode and because we've got our durability component, we can resync the missing writes. So we're no longer missing those writes and now have access to our VM. That's where our enhanced data durability comes into play. You might be thinking, wait a minute, you've showed us two examples using a four node cluster. Does this work with a three node cluster? And the answer is yes, it does. But we change how we do it just slightly. So let's go to that same scenario again, but with a three node cluster. We've got our three node environment. Our administrator puts our host in maintenance mode with ensure accessibility. And this time we create our durability component on the same node as our witness. Not a perfect solution, but we still create that durability component and we put it on our host. If we had a failure on the host that had component two, we then would be able to resync from that durability component to component one once we bring it out of maintenance mode. And that would allow us to have access to our objects. So now we've walked through the slide portion of it. Let's jump into vCenter and see what that looks like. We're we'll walking through two different scenarios, one with our four node cluster and one with our three node cluster. We currently have a four node cluster. Let's check out our object health. I'm gonna click on our cluster, click on monitor and go down to object health. And then I'm gonna choose one of our VMs. We'll then click on view placement details. We can see we're using a RAID 1 policy and we can see where our components are located along with our witness component. Let's go and put one of our hosts in maintenance mode. We're gonna use the ensure accessibility option. Now that our host is in maintenance mode, We'll click on the refresh button and we can see that our object states have changed. They're now reduced availability 
with that rebuild delay timer. So after that 60 minute timer elapses, we'll kick off a resync. We'll choose one of our VMs and click on view placement details. We can now see we've got a different section. We've got our durability component. Now that we've gone through a four node scenario, I'm gonna take one of our hosts out of the vSAN cluster and walk through this with a three node cluster. Let's go back to virtual objects and see what does the health of our objects look like. We can see we currently got a RAID 1 policy and they're all in a healthy state. Let's go and place one of our nodes in maintenance mode. Now that our host is in maintenance mode, let's click on the refresh button and let's take a look at one of our VMs. We can now see we've created a durability component on another one of our hosts. At this point, I think we're at a good place to wrap up this video. We talked about our enhanced data durability, initially introduced with 70U1 for planned outages and then improved for 70U2 for unplanned outages. And that's when we put our host in maintenance mode, create that durability component, capturing all the new writes, and then syncing to that component when it comes out of maintenance mode. I hope you found this video informative. I'd like to thank you for watching.